Hey, viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist, and welcome back to another round of me wittering away in Syria being hunted about various topics and all that. So, I hope you guys out there are all doing well. Uh, we're back actually on the same map as last time. Probably just thought my vitality was really low. I think, uh, did I die in the last episode, technically? I think I did. Or did I? For some reason, I have memories of dying. I don't know why. I just do. But I can't remember. It's been a good few days since the last recording session since I did uh, the previous episode. Uh, it doesn't matter, because obviously this is just a podcast-style episode. This is a map that's just meant for podcast-style recordings and all that, so there's no real point in me fretting too much about what did or didn't happen. That's not uh, really the point and all that, because it's just a map for chattering away about whatever topic is on my mind at a given moment and all that. And speaking of topics that are on my mind in this given moment, ladies and gentlemen... Plenty of interesting gaming news uh, at the moment. This last uh, couple of days, as I'm going to record... In fact, actually, what I should say, uh, before I actually go into that... I'm recording this on uh, friggin' Valentine's Day, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, by the time this video goes out, it'll be way beyond that, but... Let's just say, uh, you know, happy retrospective Valentine's Day, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you had fun that day, doing whatever the hell you were doing. Whether you were alone, whether you were with a friend... Whether you're with a romantic partner, I don't know. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, but hopefully, you know, you had a good time and all that. And, um, yeah, so, like I say, it's Valentine's Day as I'm going to record, but it won't be by the time this video goes out, but you know what I mean and all that. Anyway, no, no, gaming news. That was what I was talking about just a second ago before I distracted myself. Um, no, some interesting stuff. Uh, last couple of days as I'm going to record this, it's been interesting um, whenever I log into the General Red Twitter page. And I look down at all the trending tags, because this last couple of days, Tomb Raider Remastered has been going crazy here in the UK on Twitter. For perfectly understandable reasons. I'm kind of glad I managed to get my uh, TR3 playthrough actually finished before the remastered versions came out. And um, I actually did sort of answer this question um, at the end of my um, final episode of TR3. But if anyone's wondering, am I going to buy the remastered Tomb Raider 1, 2 and 3 and play those? Honestly, probably not. Just because, well, I've played the originals. And as pretty as the remasters do look, at the end of the day, I would just essentially be playing the same game again. So I don't really see a point to doing that. Plus the thing is, I've got other Tomb Raider games uh, to make a start on at some point. I've got, uh, you know, the next three games in the OG series. Tomb Raider 4, The Last Revelation. Tomb Raider 5, Chronicles. And then Tomb Raider 6, The Angel of Darkness. Which, those three admittedly are the ones which, um, I don't know, it, it, I'm at the sort of stage in the OG series where people tend to say the quality starts to drop off a bit. Not because, not that, not that the games are necessarily bad, but just compared to the OG trilogy, they're maybe not quite as standout, to put it that way. But yeah, I'm, I'm willing to play them. Because I'll bet, if... I don't know. If if we had remasters of the original three Tomb Raider games, then I imagine, probably, there may well be discussions about remastering the next three. So if I can crack on with the next three sometime, maybe play those, that'll probably be good. Before there's any sign of an actual remaster in the works or whatever. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's the big gaming news at the moment. It's been uh, very fascinating seeing uh, conversations people are having on Twitter about that. Sorry, X. Mostly it's just people sort of getting nostalgic about the days, you know, in the 1990s when they used to play those games and have absolute fun with them. That's mostly what it is. Which actually makes for a change from Twitter's usual trending tags. Something positive for once, instead of all the usual bloody negativity that you always get on friggin' Twitter usually caused by politicians being stupid. So that was nice. Other gaming news, actually, at the moment. Um, so, the day as I'm going to record this, and this information probably isn't going to be any of any sort of help to anyone whatsoever by the time this video goes out, but the day I actually record this, there's a couple of things actually going completely free on Steam. Uh, Dead Island Riptide, apparently, is going free on Steam. And so it's apparently uh, one of the RPG Maker softwares, RPG Maker XP. So, um, as I went to record this, I've actually uh, added RPG Maker XP to my um, Steam account. Now, here's the thing. I know nothing about coding or programming or anything like that, but I kind of just thought, fuck it, 
if it's going for free, I don't have to pay any money for it. I'm kind of curious. I'm just going to add it to my account, and, you know, sometime in my spare time, I might just install it and just go on and play around with the software. Because the thing is, RPG Maker, I don't know, some people say that RPG Maker softwares are fun sometimes just to mess around in and just sort of learn things as you go along. And you never know, you might be able to sort of experiment and eventually just create like a tiny little project. So, who knows, maybe that's a little hobby, something for me to have a go at in my spare time. Having said that, knowing me, I'll probably uh, never get the opportunity because I'm so busy with work and then recording stuff for the channel and all that, among other things. But you never know. You never know, folks. You never know and all that. Uh, let me just uh, head to the next island. Right, so as I'm saying, RPG Maker XP going free on Steam at the moment as I'm going to record this, but probably by the time this video goes out it won't be anymore. And also Dead Island Riptide. And it actually got me thinking about the original Dead Island. Because um, I do have the original Dead Island. I didn't play it on the channel. I played it years and years, I think, before I ever got this channel. Or set up this channel, rather. I just played it in my spare time. And I uh, remember, actually, I did get quite far. I think I got to the uh, prison chapter of the game, just playing on my own. Yeah, single player. Well, what a Billy No Mates and all that. But come to think of it, I'm kind of curious, actually. I wonder if Connor has Dead Island. Because that would probably be a fun series, just to do with something on occasion. Going into Banoi Island and messing around, killing zombies. And just doing random shit. Probably would be quite entertaining that. I think, like I say, it's been it's been quite a few years since I played Dead Island, so I don't remember too much in terms of what you know the different missions and levels and things you do are. All I remember is it's a tropical island resort and there's zombies, lots of zombies. And you just basically bash their heads in and things like that. I mean, you know, it's typical sort of zombie horror... Well, you know, zombie survival f stuff, isn't it? If you've played Dead Island or seen any videos of it, you know what I mean. But uh, Dead Island Riptide, was that not the second instalment in the Dead Island franchise? Possibly? That was released? I think... Um, yeah, I think it was. Possibly, but I did notice it has mixed reviews on Steam, so not everyone likes it, but hey, if it's going for free, maybe I'll just add that to my Steam library as well. The only reason I know about these free things is because I was actually just looking at some gaming news on, I think it was GameRant.com, uh, before I started doing the recording session, and literally there was just an article from about four hours ago, as I'm going to record this, literally saying, ooh, Two things going on Steam, ladies and gentlemen, if you're interested. Going for free, pick them up while you can. So maybe I should be keeping my eyes peeled a bit more often for that kind of thing. You know what I should do, though? You know, speaking of deals on games, something that I always fail to do. My GOG Galaxy account is actually technically registered to an old email address of mine that I barely really check these days anymore. But every so often I do still log into it. Um, mainly because problem is it's set to be like a recovery email account for uh, other addresses of mine. So sometimes, you know, I do have to log in every so often. And sometimes I see, you know, I get notification emails from GOG saying, ooh, claim your discount on such and such a game. And then I look at the date and I see it was from about two months ago and I think, ah, verge. I missed out on that. Missed out on a sweet, sweet deal and all that. I haven't actually played any of my GOG games recently, though. I'm trying to think. Actually, no, that's a, that's a lie. I recently did, uh, obviously, another episode of The Saboteur with Phil. Okay, actually, yeah, I have played. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind what I said. I have actually played one of my GOG games recently, then. Well, there's me being a bit of a liar. Flipping heck. What am I like? Um... No, but apart from the Saboteur, I haven't actually played any of the uh, other games that I have in my GOG library, but I do want to, because I do have some interesting ones over there. I've, uh, I think I have at least one or two of the old um, uh, Oddworld games, those ones. What else do I have over there? I think I have Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, possibly. Is it possibly that one as well? And other stuff. Submarine Titans, I think, is another game I've got over there. Yes, well, 
I don't know. I'll have to check it again sometime. I sometimes forget. Obviously, Populous. I think uh, I have on GOG as well. Which is a game I've not played for a while. Maybe I should come back to that at some point. Because, uh, you know, me and Phil have only done a few episodes of that, but... I don't know, they seem to go down well. Episodes of Populous the beginning, whenever I play them. So I should probably get back to that. But that, that again. Uh, let me just check some doors. Anything good over here, ladies and gentlemen? Elite your freaking Stilton. There you go. Go all Wallace on that. There we are. Ah. Whoa. That reminds me, though, I've got so many freaking games. Sorry, I, this is a bit of a sort of random um, thought process here, but me just mentioning Wallace there made me think of Wallace and Gromit in Project Zoo. You know that game that I talked about freaking ages ago, in sir? And which I did actually buy a second hand copy off of eBay, but fun, sadly I, I haven't been able to get it to work. I'll keep trying with it. You never know. Might be able to get it working one day. It was just making me think of old 2003 games. Did I mention at any point that I bought another couple of second hand obscure 2003 games off eBay recently? Freelancer and Harbinger? Did I mention those ones? There's a couple of games that uh, I definitely want to play on the channel at some point. Uh, right. And speaking of 2003 games, I've still got a freaking Chaser in my Steam library. That's one that um, maybe isn't so obscure, given the fact that it is available on Steam. But yes, I definitely want to play that one too. Because it's pretty good. Take that over there, please. Don't turn around. You bitches. I don't know what you like. No, you're good that way, please. That's it, that's it, you fuckers. I'm going around here, like so. Oh, come here. Give me. There we are, that's better. That's much, much better. Oh. Smoke bomb off over there as well. One right there, ladies and gents. Isn't that lovely? Don't you just freaking like it? Do I not have. Oh, I don't have any freaking alarm clocks. That's unfortunate. Well, there might be some in this village over here. Let me go and have a little look. So, yes, if anyone doesn't know uh, Freelancer and Harbinger, what they are. Harbinger was sort of like this weird um, sci fi top down RPG set on like a big spaceship or something. Had kind of a sort of dark, dark vibe to it. But I remember playing the demo of it back in the day when I was a kid and thinking it was kind of weird. But also sort of fascinating as a game. So, so can, get, give me that. There we go. Um. Yeah, so hence why uh, I would be sort of interested in playing that on the channel, because I imagine there probably aren't, you know, many YouTubers out there who've played it, since it's such an obscure game. And you see, when I say it's an obscure game, I mean obscure. It's one of those games where you will only be able to play it if you buy a second-hand copy, because you're highly unlikely to find a um, digital version of it anywhere, you know, anywhere at all. You'd have to probably either buy a second-hand copy or just download it from an abandoned ware site, something like that. Who do you think? Similar with Freelancer. Freelancer was another game I played the demo of back in the day when I was a kid. That one's a uh, space flight sim, sci-fi, with combat and all kinds of stuff. And it's, uh, I just remember it being really fun and kind of enjoyable. So, uh, yeah, two games I played the demos of back in the day. But now that I've got the uh, full versions of them, technically on disc, I think it'd be interesting. Why have I come over here? Actually, I've got guns. I can probably just shoot these guys down, can't I? Rather than trying to stealth it. Hi, guys! Do you have time to talk about our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ? Nope. Well, neither do I, because I'm not here to actually talk about him. <laughs> you. Get him, and... Bonk. <laughs> His body went f f flying Alright. This one. Take. There we go. <laughs> Got the ammo, cheers, discard, discard. Out. You got nothing. Discard, discard. Yeah, let's take some extra. You know, got too many bags for bandages, really. You don't need any more. I've got too many, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Anything in the phone box? Nope. Well, there were mushrooms, but then again, actually, I've got plenty of food here. Don't need any more and all that. Right. So technically, I've actually exhausted my topic of conversation already. Gaming news. I didn't actually look at that many articles on Game Run. Probably should have looked at a few more. But having said that, a lot of the ones I saw were to do with things like Switch games and 
it was all about Princess Peach and Mario and stuff like that, which I just don't really know much about anyway. So I'm not, it's not much concern to me. Did I ever mention um, in one of my previous episodes that there was a period where I was tempted to try and get myself a Nintendo Switch from PC World? I haven't actually done that, ladies and gentlemen. Because the problem was, I noticed uh, at one point in my local Cruise PC World, they had Nintendo Switches where it came bundled with about five Mario games. And that was kind of what was initially tempting me to think maybe I'll buy a Switch and get that that version. You know, it comes with about five different games installed, including Super Mario Maker 2, which I think was the one I was really interested in. But unfortunately, last time I went in, they didn't have any more of those um, packages anymore. So instead, I would have just had to buy. Oh, Jesus. I would have just had to buy the Nintendo Switch individually and buy just some random games. So, I don't know, maybe I'll do it in future, but. Who knows? Yes, uh, apart from adding more and more Steam games to my library and GOG games or whatever else have you, that I'm probably never going to play because I've got so fucking many of them. I can also add console games to the list that I'll probably never get around to playing either. Well, shoot, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, well, I'll tell you what, folks, I think we'll probably wrap this episode up here, won't we? Because, um, there we go for a decent amount of time. 10 to 15 minutes there, I think that's fine. This fucking rock has generated the most awkward location, but luckily it's perfectly uh, shaped for me to do some parkour off it. Alright, face one to the link star down below, ladies and gentlemen, along with a link to my propagandist channel for anyone interested. And if you enjoyed, a like is always appreciated, and all that jazz. Let me know in the comments, did you uh, take advantage of those free games on Steam at the time? You know, when they were actually available and all that? Let me know. Actually, speaking of games, what I should actually say is um, there have been other games that have been going on offer for cheaper on Steam, and I have actually bought a few uh, recently. Aeon Drive, has anyone heard of that one? It's like a sort of 2D platformer with like a sort of pixelated cyberpunk kind of vibe. I have a lot of cyberpunk games in my Steam library, which I want to play at some point, so I might as well try and play them. Hoping to, you know, 2024 will be a good sort of year for just random, you know, strange and unique games and things like that. So I bought that one, among others. So if you're interested in seeing that on the channel, who knows, just let me know. All right, goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Go, we're doing it. Gotcha. These shower cubicles? No. Bot room. Check them all. Oh, told you there'd be someone there. But I didn't, but you know what I mean? Oh my god, did someone leave a floater? Not anymore. That was in that one. Bonk. Shit. Gotcha. Shit. Oof. Just keep kicking the door open. Don't blow up on me, bud. Nobody there. Shit. That's a lot of enemies. 